This is Eugene Panrukovich of the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion TouchSmart 14 sleek book with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Pavilion TouchSmart 14 sleek book. Uh, before we get started, let's talk about the touchscreen first. Um, this model, uh, as I said before, it has a touch screen on it, and for the this model, this particular model came out in early 2014. So for this model, there is a procedure which I'm going to show you how to replace the touch screen. For previous versions of this model, the touch screen extends all the way out to the edge of the screen, and there's I don't we do not have a procedure to replace the touch screen for this model for the other models, but for this model we do. The way to tell the difference is you have to look at the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. For the older version, this glass part, the clear glass part, goes all the way to the edge of the screen assembly. For the version that we're talking about, the touch screen is a rectangle and there's a plastic bezel surrounding. There's a piece of plastic surrounding it where the glass is not on top. The glass is not on the plastic bezel. So if you don't know if your model will work for this procedure, email us a photo with the, of the screen assembly and we can tell from that. Okay, the next thing we have to worry about is removing the battery to remove all sources of power from the from this model before we can start work on it. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over, make sure the right lever is slid to unlocked, and we slide and what we do is just slide the left lever inward and the battery just slides out like that. Now while you're here on the bottom, let's look at the model number on here. The model that you see is model 14-B109WM, but again, please confirm the screen bezel, the screen assembly looks like the one in this video. Okay, once we remove the battery, we can work on the laptop safely. The first order of business is to remove this plastic screen bezel that I talked about earlier. And it's secured by two screws on the bottom, covered up by some screw covers, plastic screw covers. So before we get started with that, we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. First, we have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed end, and that's to help us with removing the screen bezel. And finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws or manipulate cables that we may encounter. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is to remove the plastic covers on the screws. So we reach inside the plastic covers, lift them up, and put them right next to the opening. And do the same thing for the second side, like so, and put them right next. Okay, next thing is we need to remove the screws. There's one and two, like so. Once we remove the screws, we can snap the screen bezel off. Okay, this, to snap the screen bezel off for a touch screen model, it's a little bit trickier than for a non-touch screen model because there's some adhesive securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. So, what we need to do is use our hobby knife or X-Acto knife to reach in on the screen side. There's where the screen ends, then there's a little thin rubber strip, and then there's the plastic bezel. So reach in between where the screen ends and the rubber strip, like so. So let's get a close-up. Reach in like so, and find a place to lift up until your fingernail can grab it, and gently start pulling up and out. 
Now you encounter some resistance because there's some adhesive. You'll hear the adhesive peeling off and gently work your way around the screen. If it's too tough, you can use a blow dryer around the sides to soften up the adhesive, but it should not be necessary. So you can hear the adhesive peeling off. This bezel has been removed once previously before, so it's a little bit easier for me. So it's going to be a little bit harder if the bezel has not been removed, but just gently lift up and out and slowly lift up the adhesive. And you see where the adhesive strip is peeling off and some of it's stuck on the screen and some of it is stuck on the bezel. So what you want to do is use a, a hobby knife to cut it there. Like so. Because we want to try to save as much of the adhesive as possible. And keep going. You can see the adhesive coming off. Like so. All the way around and on the bottom also. When you do this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back because the screen is not secured by any screws. You don't want a screen to fall forward on you. It just fell down, but it didn't fall forward on us. And now we have removed the screen bezel. Let's look at the back of the screen bezel. You see the adhesive strips and what we want to do is preserve as much of it as we can so what we do is adhere it back on the screen bezel as much as we can and most of it looks like it's still intact and that should be enough okay now let's take a look at the screen for this particular model I don't know why they did that but there's no screws that secure the screen to the back of the screen assembly Usually there will be two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, but there's none in this case. Um, it does make the job easier a little bit. So what we do is grab by the top tabs and gently tilt the screen forward and lay it down like so. And we see that there's a connector on the bottom and it has some adhesive tape on top of it. So we remove the adhesive tape with our hobby knife, lift it up just enough for us to grab it with our fingertips and gently start lifting it up. Like so. And lift it up on the sides. And then next step is to fold it back and then to remove the connector. What we want to do is grab the connector by the back and gently pull it out like so. Okay, I'm going to reconnect the connector to show you how to properly connect it. To properly connect it, you slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up. Okay, pause the video right here. As you can see, there's not a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. This is what a proper connection looks like. So when you reconnect it, make sure your connection looks like this. Okay, actually, I didn't have it all in all the way. So try again. Pause the video right here and look at the connection again. Okay, next we pull the connection out and take a look at this screen. Okay, as I said before, this is a touch screen. It's, it's a new type of screen that started being used in laptops in early 2014 and late 2014. So it's different from a regular non-touch screen. The part number is different and the functionality is different. On the front, there will be uh, the regular LCD screen and on top of that, there's a digitizer or a touch screen layer and then there's a small kind of lip, metal lip on the sides that goes around it. So that's how you can tell that it's a touch screen. And let's look at the part number. The part number is B140XTT01.0. 
that's the part number you're looking for. B140 XTT01.0. Uh, we at Screen Surgeons do have this screen available that we can provide to you. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit. It comes for free for every screen that we shipped. ship. We also have a two-year warranty on the screen against defects. Uh, if you get stuck at any step of the procedure, we provide free email technical support. And we have free shipping on these screens. They ship free using priority mail within the continental United States. If you live outside of the United States or a different country, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the checkout procedure and select your country when you check out. To order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a small form, short form for you to fill out, and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. Okay. Once we, you do receive your new screen in, snap the connector in as I showed you, put the connector in as I showed you, put the adhesive tape on top. Make sure the screen assembly is tilted back. Mount the screen assembly inside, mount the screen inside the screen assembly so it fits snugly. And then snap the screen bezel back on. And before you snap the screen bezel back on, make sure the adhesive is lined up neatly along the edges. The adhesive strips are lined up neatly along the edges. If you don't save all the adhesive, that's fine. It also has plastic snapping, snapping mounts that hold the screen in. And there's also a rubber, there's also a rubber seal that holds the screen in. So the, do the best you can do. Snap that screen bezel back on after the screen is back on and put the two screws in at the bottom and then the screw covers and then you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.